At the beginning of the story, someone makes small pieces of stones, and buries them in the ground. And from here the scene shifts, and is shown to a scientist named Martin. Who, in the middle of dense forests, goes to the research area built by the government. We have come to know that at this time, a strange epidemic has spread in the world. Because of which half of the people have been killed. There is also a shortage of food on the ground. The government wants to find a way, to grow more food than the remaining fertile land. And the problem of food for the remaining humans in the world, should end. Martin had also come here for this research. First, some of his physical tests are done, to know if he is infected with the virus of the epidemic or not. After the test is cleared, he meets his guide Alma, who took him to part of the jungle where he had to do research. There was a painting in the house where Martin had stayed, in which the goddess standing in the jungle, was being sacrificed to humans. When he asks Alma about this, Alma says that the old people believe that there is a goddess in this jungle. To make her happy, they used to sacrifice humans, and she takes care of nature. But now it is just a story to tell the children. Anyway, Martin asks the people here that the researchers who came here and got lost in the jungle, why were they not found through new technology? In response, he is answered, that they went to the jungle without a guide. In this case, it is very common to get lost in the jungle. And getting lost in the jungle scares a person so much that the person does not stay alive. Martin did not just come here for research. He also came here to find someone. While going to the jungle, he tells his guide Alma about Olivia, with whom he had done a lot of research. She was really a very intelligent girl. She had been doing research in this jungle for a long time. But for the past six months, no one has received her letter. And when they move on, they find a broken, scattered camp. Alma says that a family had come to this jungle. I don't know what happened to them, but they never came back. Thinking that they must have died, they both get very sad. Before nightfall, they set up camp again. And this night, someone attacks them. I don't know who attacked them. There was only bright light in their eyes. They are beaten so much that they become unconscious. When they come to their senses, they see that they were robbed. They didn't even have shoes. When they move forward without shoes, Martin gets a very deep cut in his foot. She ties a bandage on his foot and gives him a stick. With the help of this, he can move forward in the jungle. And when they move forward, they reach a place where there is no sound. There was silence there. There was no sound of air. And suddenly a man comes in front of them, seeing whom they get scared. That man says, there is no need to be afraid. I just saw this boy injured, so I came to you. He says that I have some shoes. So come to my camp. I will give you shoes. They both notice that this man had a lot of stuff. Maybe he had been living here for a long time. He sees the wound on Martin's foot, which was very deep. So he puts stitches in his foot, gives him shoes to wear, food, and water too. In the end, after drinking some sweet, they both faint. This tells us that this man is also not a good man. For some special reason, he brought them both to his camp. He makes them look like dead people and takes pictures of them. When they both came to their senses, they were tied to a chair. They beg this man for their lives. That man brings them both tied in the middle of the jungle. He tells them that there is a strange power in this jungle. A goddess, and I can talk to her. And let me tell you an interesting thing. It is not a coincidence that you came here. You have been brought here. After all this, he tells Martin that your foot wound is very bad. Your infection has spread to your toes, which I will have to cut. Martin and Alma were stopping him from doing this. But he does not listen to one. And he cuts two fingers of Martin's foot with his axe. Martin was in so much pain that he was unconscious. Now that man takes Martin out of here. He makes him wear strange clothes. He puts strange things around him. As if he is now going to sacrifice Martin. On the other hand, Alma, gets the blade lying near her chair with great difficulty. She gets herself released. And she was about to go out to save Martin. That bad man comes here. After attacking him, she reaches Martin with difficulty. And she also releases him. Getting an opportunity, they both run, in two different directions of the jungle. Martin was walking very slowly due to the wound on his feet. While Alma was running fast, this man was about to attack Alma with an arrow. Then Martin calls him to distract that man from Alma. Now that man was after Martin. Because he was not running fast, Martin was trying to hide in the jungle. And that man tried to kill Martin. Then he sees a mic in the jungle. Martin shouts for help in it. And suddenly he sees the same bright light. And suddenly a girl in a suit saves him. It was no one else, in fact, scientist Olivia. To find her, Martin had come here. His fellow researcher, they find Alma in no time. 
Martin asks her, why did you end your contact with the outside world? Then Olivia replies that I was very busy here. I got something here, something because of which I feel that the world will change now. Olivia says that I have found a lot of strange stones here. And at the same time, I hear a lot of strange frequencies here. I feel that the trees and everything here talk to each other. And maybe there is some power here that wants to talk to us. Understanding these voices, I have also created a language. Martin also hears these voices and understands that these voices are not ordinary voices. Moving on to her story, Olivia says that I came here with my husband whom you encountered. We did a lot of research. And then we got a stone and a book. After reading it, we found out about a power here. To find out the truth of this power, I took the help of science. But my husband started believing in magic. And now he worships the same power, the goddess. And keeps trying to make it happy. This is why he wanted to kill you. Olivia says that I have come very close through this language. I think that soon I will know what that power wants to say to us. After all of Olivia's talks are over, Alma tells Martin. I don't believe in this woman's words at all. She is talking weird like her husband. I think she is in contact with that man. And we are still in danger. Alma says that we should get out of here, and take this woman away from here. When Martin goes to Olivia to talk to her, she starts telling a new story to Martin. She says that you have not come here. Remember, your ears must have sounded before you arrived. Ours sounded as well, and that's why we came here. With these words, Alma gets even more worried. And she says to Martin that we are leaving here right now. As soon as they are about to leave, a strange poisonous gas starts coming out of the forest. Olivia says, go away from here, but wait for a while. Go away when this gas is over. But Alma was not going to stop now. To go from here, she takes Olivia's suit from Olivia. And Martin ties a rope with her. So that if Alma becomes unconscious while going into that gas, Martin can save her. This is what happens. As soon as Alma goes a little further, the gas starts affecting her. She starts having hallucinations. Some things start showing up. And she also becomes unconscious. Martin immediately pulls her back. When she came to her senses, she was screaming loudly that I saw him. He was very big. I saw him. It's night and we see that Olivia's husband also came to their camp. Martin and Alma had now believed that they were together. Olivia tells Martin that whoever is here, wants to talk to us through you. I have made something for you. You drink it and then we will go out. Martin did not believe her so easily. But he knew that if he did not do this, Alma's life would also be in danger. He also knew that what he was drinking could also be poisoned. Martin was about to drink that poison when he came to a tree. On the other side, Alma goes to talk to Olivia. When she goes to her secret room, she gets pictures of many people. These were the same people who were lost in this jungle. And whose corpses Alma and Martin had seen in this jungle. Alma had now realized that this scientist, is more crazy than her husband. Now she was thinking and Olivia also came here. She attacks Olivia without thinking, and injures her and comes out to save Martin. Where Olivia's husband was about to kill her, she quickly attacks Olivia's husband's eye and then kills him. Martin's life was now saved. However, because of Olivia's husband's death, strange smoke had spread here. In this smoke, Alma starts hallucinating again. She gets strange thoughts and she becomes unconscious. And the next day when she regains consciousness, she had completely changed. Olivia was in front of her, who fell to the ground as soon as she thanked her. As if she was freed by a strange force. And that force had now come into Alma. In a strange tone, she comes to Martin and says, let me take you out of this jungle. There is still a question left in the story. What happened to Alma and Olivia? There was really a force in this jungle, that took care of nature and loved nature. But when humans destroyed nature badly, then that force started calling people to its side, who took care of nature at its behest. But Olivia and her husband did not understand this. They started killing people to satisfy this force. And then nature called Alma and Martin here again. At the end of the story, we saw that Alma did not talk about killing Martin. It meant that that force has now found the right person, to take care of nature for him. With whom this film story ends here.